hello guys so welcome again to this channel in this video i will discuss about a very very silly question that is why column buckle and i know really it's a silly question but trust me for a first year student or a second year student who have just encountered uh, this term that is buckling of column i think this video will really help that guy okay so without wasting time let's start and before starting it's my humble request to you if you new to this channel please do subscribe because this is a win-win activity that means first it motivate me and second it will benefit you okay so let's start so the first thing that i would like to discuss with you that if you come to me with your very first column drawing with some load on it okay like this one okay so definitely if this is a concentric load or the load is simply applied at the center of the column okay pardon me my line is not perfectly at center so if the load here in red color is applied on this column just at the center okay so in that case even a superman cannot help this column to buckle okay so if you don't know what is actually this buckle means that is let's say uh, this is a column this is support this is also a support and when it buckles it means the shape becomes something like this okay so this is known as buckling of column so the very first case is that if you have a concentric axial load concentric again i am marking this concentric word if you are applying your load just at the center of the column there is no power in this world which can buckle this column what will happen the column may be crushed depending on the magnitude of this force okay sorry depending on the magnitude of this force if it is too high the column will simply crush but it will never buckle so when the column will buckle and why okay so there are mainly two scenario when your column will buckle let's first discuss the first case okay so the first case is when your column is under eccentric load okay the previously it was under concentric axial load now it is under eccentric axial load so let's see what happened if we apply eccentric axial load to our column let's say this is our column okay and let's say this is the support and this is support so as you can see it is clear that this is the center line okay now you are applying your load let's say uh, this is your applied load here just at the edge or maybe somewhere here okay so now what will happen the load will follow the shortest path so it will transfer from this point to this point through center no doubt but if this is the center line sorry this is the load line and let's say this is the center line okay there is a gap or eccentricity that is uh, let's say this is your e okay and the load is let's say p so at this center definitely there is a moment due to this axial load and this lever arm at seventh standard physics so the moment is now m is nothing but p times e okay so forget about the axial load now now you have a moment that is p times e and you have your column okay so this is your column with support and at the end you have moment so what do you think definitely due to this moment 
your column is subjected to buckling like this so this is the first reason of column buckling that you will have to have some eccentric load and in real life even if you are super genius it is not possible for you to apply concentric load always there will be some eccentricity so always there will be some moment and always you need to design your column for this buckling clear so i hope i have been able to make you understand the first reason of column buckling the second one is more or less similar but still it's uh, quite different okay so now let's say you have your column with some axial load i'm not mentioning about concentric or eccentricity let's say you have some axial load okay sorry let's say you have some axial load here but if we draw the line diagram this is the support this is the support okay and the load let's say mark it with black color this is your load this is your load but what happened accidentally there is some lateral load coming to this uh, column okay let's say here and due to this lateral load there is a very small deflection which is marked by black color like this okay and this deflection let's say this is delta so you have now a load p with some initial deflection delta so what will happen the load will pass through this path no doubt but when it will pass through this path here you have load and the column is at a distance of delta here is your column section so due to this distance there will be some bending moment again here and the bending moment is nothing but p times delta okay so if you have a column initially like this and now you are applying a bending moment that is p times delta p times delta okay so definitely this column or this deflected column is going to buckle more like this so this is the second reason of column buckling okay so that's all very short video but still if you find that you have something to learn new don't forget to share it with your fellow one okay we will meet again with some another topic in the next video thanks for watching guys